What's up guys, it's Richard here, um, showing you our last war where we lost. I'm going to show you a replay of the base that I got to start in because I am going to change it for our next war. So, um, two jumps, resource rings, I hate myself, but it seems like witches are pretty formidable to it and I was using only a single infernal. And single infernos are exactly what witches dominate. So it's the multi infernos that causes them bigger problems. I don't know why they didn't freeze the multi in the back, but they easily got my town hall. They already have 41%, and the queen just used her ability. So it was, it seems like it was a pretty simple base for them to two star. And in war, I'm happy if somebody one stars me because I think a one star in Town Hall 10 is an equivalent of a fail. And so that was sort of a go wee wee against my base. Um, but I was going to show you our two good bases. Um, our Dew Troop, our leader, took um, number one. And as usual, he does a go. <laughs> Go wee wee, but more really more of a hocus pocus. He drops his, he makes a hole in the wall with a wall breaker, and then he drops another golem. Uh, golem, and this time I see that he's taking two golems because usually he goes with one golem, and he doesn't. He only has one wall breaker, so I'm not sure if that wall breaker would help make a hole. I probably would have deployed it to help the golem because the golem just seems to hit the wall with his head over and over and over and there he deploys the witches up north and the inferno is on multi they have a lava hound i think we're encountering more and more lava hounds in the cc if the cc has 35 spaces it's usually a lava hound and a balloon and if it's 30 it's usually a lava hound or sometimes a dragon and a balloon and he used his, he saved his jump spell to go to the center for the witches and it's just unfortunate that he didn't get the wizard tower up north but because I think in the time scale it's gonna be really hard to get back up there to for a three star but the witches are attacking the town hall. The two expos are still attacking them, and the test three Teslas are up, and there goes the town hall. And it's really only, I think, the witches in the center. There's no golem left there, and because the golem actually followed the king to the side, and there he deploys the single wall breaker, which is not really going to help because they have blue walls, level eleven walls, and. 74% with a minute left. So this is a very successful raid. I hate witches, but I think that I might have to reconsider using witches. I usually go through phases. I was definitely an air attacker, and now in Town Hall 10, I'm using less and less air because with air, I feel like I could get the 50%, but not always the Town Hall. And with ground, I'm much better at getting the Town Hall, but other people seem to use air more successfully and the guy who just made legends this week was going with just an air attack and the witches go here and clean up the rest of the base we'll just speed it up because unfortunately he didn't three star it but i don't know getting a 93 percent on their number one fully max base i think is pretty good so i attacked my equal which was number two and I use a classic go wipe with two P.E.K.K.A.s, five golems. I drop my jump spells to the quickest route to the town hall. And then I jump, I put my golems spread out. Sometimes I don't like to do that because the golem starts attacking a wall on the side. But I quickly follow them with wizards to clear up all the debris because I do want the my heroes and the troops to go to the center. But as you see, it didn't quite work. Fortunately, my P.E.K.K.A.s and my King know exactly what to do, and I think it's the, I should have waited for the witches to clear the elixir storage there on the right, because now 
the Archer Queen is not going to double back and she's just going to go in circles. But in the long scheme of, thing, scheme of things, because I am able to get to the Town Hall because I still have the Golems, the two P.E.K.K.A.s are still at alive and I haven't used the abilities of the King or the Queen before they get the Town Hall. I'm just totally ignoring the Lava Hound there, um, which I just feel like Lava Hound sometimes don't deal enough um, damage, DPS, to my troops. And it's more pain, it's, it causes more of a problem in the corner there where the Lava Hound is just sitting on top of a golem who just stupidly hits, attacks a wall. But at 53% here, I really don't care what the Lava Hound does. Um, I pop both my king's ability and I am going to finish up the attack at about 58%. Um, drop those wall breakers a little too late because I was just focusing on the lava pups. And then I was actually going to end the day by showing you a three star attack by Dez, who um, there is DC Fusion. He is our number 29, attacking number 27. Because he used to be a total ground attacker, and he's been watching DCU and Mosif use the logo Wee Wee. And so he has been known as the guy who could two star any Town Hall 9 base as a Town Hall 9, but he always said that he could never three star. And in the last four wars, he's been three starring about two or three about both his attacks and this time he's attacking a base that's too higher than him and i think it's almost a give me in a base where they have the town hall on the edge to just go after the town hall because if you fail you're going to get the three star and in the lower town halls we're seeing more of the dragons and he doesn't even use the lore he just puts the poison and his wizards attack them and the main thing about this attack is it's the go wipe is perfect because you get the town hall, you, you get your troops to the core, and from the core, the archer queen is going to take down all the air defenses. She's going to take down the X crossbow there. The fortunately hit a jump spell left, and she's going to take out the air defense there. And hopefully, um, his witches or his golem is going to take down the air defense. So then he's going to drop the balloons and I think it's good to drop the balloons in twos and I like to go in a circle the way he is so one balloon will keep cleaning up and then they could join the other balloons if they need help so and it's good to drop them while the archer tower and wizard towers are distracted so he probably should have done attract done the wizard tower up there a little sooner but as you can see it really doesn't matter because there's only two defenses left he has the wizard tower which is not strong enough to cause damage to the three remaining balloons and then he still has his witches but the witches are just working on the walls so the balloons even though they're slow there's not too many defenses to get at is going to be able to clear out most of the defenses there and he still has a couple golemites and Let's see if the balloons are going to help in cleaning up the rest of the base or if it's just going to be the balloons. The skeletons and mass skeletons that are not attacked are pretty powerful. They could get rid of a camp, um, CC army camp, really quickly. And I guess the balloons are so slow that the witches and the lone archer catches up. So. Here you have it, a three-star attack by Dez. And I do think that if you're attacking ground in Town Hall 9, bringing about six to 10 balloons, depending on the base, is a successful way of getting a three-star. I hope you enjoyed our war, even though we lost and have learned some attack strategies. And if you have any ideas, um, give me a holler and let me know. And I appreciate, as always, following my videos. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks. Ha! <laughs> <laughs>